Hello, in this video we drive the maximum likelihood estimator for a negative binomial and here the probability mass function that we're going to use and there's several versions of this but this is the one that we're going to use is represented like in this form here. Now P is the probability of observing an event or an excess success. R is a positive integer. Um, R represents the number of successes or events that we want to see or observe. X is equal to the number of observations past R to achieve R successes. So X goes from zero to infinity. Now the joint likelihood, now this is for NX, and so if we collect a sample of size N and they're all independent, then it's the product of these density, these probably mass function. And so we multiply, th this is the N times, this is, you know, there's N of these, so there's N R P, and then here there's, there's, you know, X1 times 1 minus P raised to X2, etc., and then those are combined into this, where that's the sum of the XIs. Now the log likelihood of this is exactly that. We take the log of this, and, and the log of a product is the sum of the logs. So when we take the log of this, the, the NR can come out front the same way with the sum of the XIs. Now the derivative with respect to P, our parameter, here there's no P, so it's constant and goes to zero. Here you get NR over P. Here you get the sum of the XIs, and then it's 1 over 1 minus P, and then times the derivative of 1 minus P, which is minus 1. And that's what that negative is here. Now, if we divide both sides by N, right, divide this by N, the N goes away, and here we can just bring it into the sum and call it X bar. Then we multiply everything by 1 minus P, and then by P, and that's what we get here. So the N goes away, and then when we multiply by P times 1 minus P, we get 1 minus P, and over here we just get P. Now, uh, we want to solve for P. So we, we, we multiply the R in and then take the R P to the other side, and that's what we get here. Then we divide that over and we get P, we solve for P, and then this is our maximum likelihood estimator for P, the probability of an event. Now, to make sure that it is a maximum, because that's we want to do the second derivative test, so here was the first derivative, and then the second derivative is you take this up, and then or that, that's the way I think about it. So it's P to the minus 1, and then the minus comes out, you raise it to minus 2, you take it down, you get this. And then over here, you kind of do the same thing. Then the negatives cancel, and then it's the chain rule, and you get the 1 squared, and so we get this. And then notice that P is positive, N is positive, R is positive. So this piece is negative. And here, P is less than 1, so this is positive. We're adding up non-negative numbers, so this is positive, and that negative makes it negative. So this whole thing is less than 0, which implies that P hat, our maximum likelihood estimate, is indeed a maximum. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.